Hello and welcome to DNS Baptist Lips. This is the final finished look. We are going to use Pahira foundation with a fluffy brush. Apply that all over the face after you've applied face primer. Now we're going to use a stain matte powder. This gives you a matte finish. Now we're going to use a sponge to wipe off any excess foundation, stopping it from looking cakey. Now we're going to do some contouring with a fluffy brush. So stick the brush in. Whoa! I think we had a bit much there. It's okay, don't panic. Just blend it in as much as you can. Carry on with the rest of your contouring and go back to that. To the top of your forehead, down the temples and along your nose. Right, now to dial down that big brown patch that we've just done, go back in with your stain matte powder. This will help to dry it down a bit, tone it down. And go in with your sponge and just pat it and rub it until it dies down, see? Not as bad now. Don't forget to do your drawline. Now we're going to use a sponge just to do that all over to help the contour blend in. Now for the brows, I'm going to use brow shadow with a small brow brush. And fill them in and then brush them through with a brow brush comb. By brushing your brush through, this helps to get rid of any patches that you may have missed and blends it all in better. Now I'm going to go with the Morphe palette 3503 with the burgundy colour. I'm going to use a fluffy brush and put this in a socket bone. My eye. I'm going to use a fluffy brush with a sweeping motion. Also blend as I'm applying. Now I'm going to use tart shape tape concealer with a small compacted brush. I'm going to pat this over the eyelid and then look up and it will create an arch line that you can follow. Neaten up in the corner and then bring a little bit of the concealer out as a little wing shape at the outer edge of your eye. Now 
nice tidy up that line and repeat to the other eye. I'm very sorry, I completely forgot about recording when I started to apply the shadow. I'm using a fluffy brush with the same burgundy colour that we used in a circuit bow. I'm going to apply this with a fluffy brush with a patting motion just to the centre of the eyelid. Just keep applying this until you get the right colour shadow that you would like. Now I'm going to go in with the black with a small eyebrow brush for the outer eye creating a black flick. All I'm doing here is following the casilla that I have just applied in the shape of a point. I'm going to keep applying this until the black is black and not patchy. Now I'm going to get a fluffy brush with the burgundy colour that we had on it. I'm going to blend that in with the black. Just putting some of the black under the eye a little bit. And now we're going to get a wet white, creating a nice straight sharp line from the outer corner of the eye. We're going to repeat this to the other eye. I took a bit too much off, so I'm going to go in with the black just to touch up. And then to neaten it up again with a wet wipe. Now I'm going to go in with white face paint with a very thin brush. I'm going to follow the cut crease that I've just created using concealer. Just making a nice, neat, white line. Repeat that to the other eye. Right. And now we're going to get the glitter glue and some silver glitter with a small brush to pack the glue, glitter glue on first onto the white line. And then once you've applied the glue to the white line, using the same brush or a different brush, pat on glitter. Very careful when opening the glitter because it can become very messy. Tap off any excess off of the brush and just apply by patting and following the white line that you've just created with the face paint. Repeat this process to the other eye, not forgetting to use eyelash glue along the white line and then applying glitter.
is touching up any patches that may have occurred. Now I'm going to sweep off any loose glitter that I may have fallen just to neaten up the line a bit. Now I'm going to do the liquid eyeliner, apply some false lashes when I can get the glue out of the tube. All you do when applying lashes is get a small line of glue along the lashes, lash line of the fake lashes and then push them on and get some tweezers. Push them as close to the lash line as you can. I thought I'd finish the look here, but obviously I didn't because I forgot to neaten up the eye by using more shadow just creating a sharper crease line and showing you what I'm doing just neatening up the glitter and the lash kept coming off in the corner and we'll put this to the other eye neatening up the glitter Working with glitter is very messy and very time consuming too. Now I'm going to blend it in at the top of the brow brow. I'm going to use a nude just to help blend it a little bit more. I've applied pencil liner. Thank you very much for watching. This is the finished look. Please share and subscribe for more videos. Goodbye.